Hey, what's up YouTube? On point 1977 here. Just going to go over uh, hopefully a very quick review of my bug out bag. This is the Camelback BFM. Um, and it is loaded up. So hopefully um, it's to everybody's standards. I think it's got just about everything I need outside of some food items but I'm sure that I could acquire that while I'm out and about let's start out with pack obviously it's a BFM we'll go down here in this this bottom pouch this video has been a long time coming so here we go I think 35 liters or something it's a pretty big pack um, this bottom pouch I had some feminine hygiene products just in a watertight bag kind of a fire starter even can use for uh, medical issues um, three separate little mesh pockets and then one big mesh pocket and some storage there I do have a small fire kit just in a little pouch. It's got a little fire steel on the outside. Um, inside, let's see what I got here. It's kind of hard I'm doing this with the camera and one handed. But uh, inside, I got some Vaseline soaked cotton balls, some dryer lint, some matches, and tucked in back there is a lighter very simple I have a lot of redundancy in this pack I'm gonna have to go through it um, so any kind of comments questions whatever will be super helpful um, some cordage uh, 50 foot 550 paracord little bundle takes up a little space it's always helpful uh, a little bit of hand sanitizer down there. Should be part of the medical, but that's just in an odd little pouch. It fits well. But here, I have a little kit. I think a razor came in this, electric razor. It's a great little pouch. And it houses some tools. We got some, uh, some small needle nose pliers. A multi-bit driver with numerous uh, hex, Torx, Phillips, flatheads, everything you can need. A couple Sharpies in there. Um, cold chisel. You know, just some tools. Some basic tools uh, to get me through everyday little, little things you may encounter outside of fixing gear. You know opening something, um, taking apart something, um, uh, all sorts of stuff here. You know, whatever you need a screwdriver for, torque bits, star bits, uh, again, Phillips, flatheads, but it's nice, it doesn't weigh that much, uh, it doesn't take up that much space either. So that's in there. Down here in this mesh zipper pocket. Hopefully, you all can see it. I have my folding saw. <coughs> it's not a Baco, not a Fiskars. It is a uh, R180 or F180 folding saw positions 45 and a straight this saw is pretty good man it's been with me for a couple of years and it is super sharp uh, definitely reliable just a way of processing wood do have a little paracord lanyard on there um, more cordage redundancy but it's also good to hold on to that that saw um, some matches and one of my wife's uh, 
she's diabetic it's a test strip holder uh, it's waterproof and snap shut and it holds some strike anywhere matches redundancy part of the fire kit zip ties um, eh, just threw that in there it's a little clip for a paracord bracelet so if I got bored wanted to wind something up I could uh, throw that you know put something together zip ties you can never have too many zip ties a nice little Stanley pry bar uh, a couple of ranger bands on each end and some uh, some tape so it doesn't poke through my pack but that's a good pry tool and then uh, probably a dozen ten stakes and a little pouch that's it for that pouch we're gonna move on to the next one okay going from top to bottom or bottom to top rather Got the front pouch here. It does have molly webbing, pals webbing all over the place. Got a couple flags up here. Morale patches, one flag, three percenter. We all know what that's about. This front side zip. Down about halfway. Holds quite a bit of stuff. You have a pair of uh, mechanics wear impact gloves. Brand new tactical. Got my boonie hat. Everybody could use a boonie. It's great. What else I have in here? Um, my, my headlamp. It's a Night Eyes. It's a Innova S2S headlamp. So it's kind of like a, a touch swipe deal. It does lock out. A um, couple multiple modes. Night vision. High, low beam, focus, flash. It does a lot great it's in a waterproof bag it's like 30 bucks got that quick access pretty much for that in that pouch this bag does have a lot of pockets uh, we're going to go into the front first half clamshell opens right up it is loaded to the gills got a couple of velcro re velcro retention straps um, i had them going around my uh my sleeping pad but my dog ate that so that's no good but I still have these for, for multiple uses um, wrapped up here in this towel this dish towel I do have my uh, field sharpening stone you know rough and fine sorry again I apologize for the shakiness this is uh, all doing this with one hand I do have a little uh, personal hygiene and food kit with some uh, some cliff bars, a um, whole bunch of stuff in here, uh, a couple notepads, pens, marker sharpies, um, oatmeal, mashed potatoes, instant soup mixes, uh, just a couple things to get me by in an Eagle Creek pack. Found that to be very useful. Multi organizing uh, areas, almost like a admin pouch if you will chem light bear grills paracord knife it's kind of a backup to a backup to a backup again more redundancy a couple sharpies contractor pencil some pens some uh, big large zip ties just in case you gotta you know detain somebody and gets a little rowdy it's all up in your shit. So right here I have one of these uh, Colligan you know, wet bags with my Sawyer Mini. I don't have to take it out. You guys are all you know, familiar with that. It's in there. It's in a good waterproof pouch. And you could use the bag for uh, water collection as well. It has a collapsible bag, the filter, the you know the uh, the douche out syringe. So it, that that's good to go. Um, Couple just small multi purpose Ziploc bags with the chem light. I do have more chem lights, so I just uh, might be in a different spot up here in this back sleeve. Uh, now I am Catholic. I do have a Holy Bible, um, so it's good reading material. 
just in case, uh, you know, SHTF and you need some some kind of uh, clarity. So that's there. Uh, a couple uh, four mil contractor bags. Uh, what else Snap trap. Um, it's a rat trap. This is great for a small game. I could catch something like that on the fly and uh, trap something. So that's good. And I do have a fire steel and striker attached to this little key fob up here so I don't lose it. Again, some more redundancy. This is brand new. This came from a buddy of mine on Facebook. Uh, he hooked me up with a bunch of them. I bought some off of him. He makes them. Uh, very good. That thing throws a lot of sparks. That's it from the front pouch. I'll be right back. Okay, moving on here. Uh, the bag has two side pouches that mirror each other. On the front, I have a single mag pouch mollied on with uh, my Ultra Fire. Um, super bright. I think it's like 120, 160 lumens. No modes. It's just a uh, high and off. Uh, nothing too fancy. Tactical. It's got the you know the pointed bezel there, so you could smack somebody if you had to. But this thing has uh, done me well, and it's super bright. I actually had it affixed to my shotgun, um, so I decided to put it in my pack. Works well. Clips right on there. It's all mollied up, and it's quick access. In this side pouch here, I have an Algene 32 ounce uh, Nalgene bottle. Glows in the dark, so you throw this thing out in the in the sun there, and uh, it'll glow at night. Camp, you, know, you can see things. A uh, little bit of wasted space. I can fill this with stuff which I have not yet. Um, iced tea mix, maybe some tea, some coffee, some creamer, all sorts of stuff like that. Just uh, on the go, you know, some Mio, Gatorade, something or other like that. But that's that. Down inside there, um, it's not a. Uh, REI or Snow Peak or any of that crap. It's just a Walmart cheapy $5 nesting cup stainless steel Fits right in there throw that in the fire boil some water good to go And it fits in that pouch quite well with room to spare No complaints here A couple less beaners Biners, whatever you want to call it. This pack does have some re retention straps, uh, two on each side. I usually clip those. Uh, spin it around here. Awesome, awesome padded strapping with Molly everywhere. On the front, I have another S biner with a, uh, I think it's an Ozark Trail. Comes from Walmart. Emergency whistle, compass, thermometer, and then uh, on one of the sides here. There's actually a, uh, a magnifying glass that pops out here, so uh, a little redundancy as far as fire starting goes. Again, it's hard to do with one hand, but that thing folds out, gives you a magnifying glass, and it'll uh, help you uh, inspect things and whatever. It does have a sternum strap with the bungee, I like that. Uh, little night eyes light. SOS strobe, it's the bottle opener, uh, you know, whatever. A couple bucks at Walmart, it's a good option to throw on there, just gives you a quick light. You want to map, read maps. This thing comes with a super good waistband, um, extra heavy doodle, du duty clamps, or claps, clasps, buckles. On this side, I have another S binder. Connected to the, you know, um, hydration port or uh, your radio antenna port, um, Velcroed up there. But I do have a pair of uh, work gloves out here, light duty, heavy duty. Um, they're actually made by Camelback, so they're they're pretty good. And then down here in this pouch, again, it's the same as the other side. I have a bag of, I want to say. Um, five hour energy but they're not it's actually uh two ounces of heat in each four oops, some more and some heat four ounces plenty of alcohol for my 
penny stove. CRKT uh, eating tool with a couple uh, extra features on there. A couple, uh, I'll show you what those are for in a second. This is a, a Bear Grylls fire starter. You know, the ferrocerium rod again, just more redundancy. That thing works great. It's got a little storage thing for some tinder up in there. Oops, lost a little rubber gasket there. So that'll go in there. But this is uh, my Stanley Cup set. A little cook set I got from Walmart. Um, opens up. I'm sure you all seen it a billion times. Got the lid inside here. I keep my penny stove. A couple of wet fire tabs. Just in case. And the instructions. And if uh, I don't need them, I can burn them. Inside the stove, it comes with two cups. And then, uh, you know, the thing itself, 20 ounces. I'm sure it'll be uh, 32 if I filled it to the top. All the, the measurements are even on the inside, so you can tell. Works pretty good. Fill that up. Oh, and these two, um, these two things right here go across the top of that penny stove, and it gives you a little bit of lift, so you can actually set your cup on top and uh, get adequate space so you can burn with it. Oops. Sorry about that guys, I dropped the, dropped the camera. I'm trying to close up this stove and get it back in there. Be right back. Okay, so last but not least, we're going to go into the, the front full clamshell of this pouch. Again, Super sturdy grab handle on the top, um, and this thing's gonna open right up. And so you're gonna see what I got in here. And again, suggestions, comments, um, what I'm missing, what I should take out of here. It is kind of heavy. I bet you it's about 40 pounds. But this opens up. It's some good compartmentalized areas uh, see through some hot hands hot feet I do have these which are pretty cool came in a first aid kit they're called flare sticks um, haven't had a chance to use them I'm assuming it's almost like fat wood they're kind of solid I can feel them uh, little uh, Johnson's and Johnson survival mylar blanket my leather man one of my leather man that's the blast um, I've had it for a while but it's like brand new and it works really good so I don't need a wave or you know anything else I do have an empty pouch here uh, it's big uh, I just I got so much stuff I don't have to fill every little pouch more than enough room for the things that I need. Uh, moving on. Sleep system, sleeping bag. This is actually an Ozark Trail. I got it from Walmart, super duper sale, like eight bucks. It's good to 40 degrees. It's a mummy, um, 87 inches by 34 inches maybe. Uh, good bag, haven't had a chance to use it outside. Compression straps, this thing sucks right down to just about nothing, and it weighs maybe a pound, not too sure, but it's pretty light. Another Eagle Creek bag, um, some candles, some soap, some toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, toilet paper, um, a whole bunch of just miscellaneous stuff, another chem light. Um, just some redundancy, but things that you could use. You have some two bags and a paracord bracelet in there. Um, you know, I could swap this out, combine this stuff into the other one, and maybe throw a couple MREs or some more, maybe some rice or uh, tuna fish packs, which I want to get in there. 
some beef jerky, something along those lines. USGI mess cat. Um, I'm going to say it's 1982, stainless steel. Got this at an army surplus store. Six bucks. Things like mint. It's got the plate, the divider, handle. Uh, I do have a handkerchief in here. And I got it from Walmart for like a buck. With the silverware that comes with it. Three bucks. So for about ten bucks. I got a good uh, army surplus uh, military uh, mess kit. Stainless steel, no complaints. Packs down to about nothing. I had one when I was a kid. Just had to rebuy another one. This USGI military issue poncho. Um, I don't have the Wooby. I want to get a Wooby for it. And that would be a great addition to this pack. Uh, give me some kind of some warmth with my shelter capabilities. Poncho is great just to stay dry. But it will also um, serve as a shelter. Run a ridge line, stake it down, and I got to make sure shelter in emergency. I love this thing. I have three of them. One of my wife's pack and one of my daily, my daily everyday carry that I keep, I uh, take with me to work. This USGI uh, military issue rain pant, size large, rolled up. These things will keep you dry. Not Gore-Tex, I want to say rubber or vinyl. Um, good construction, just got them cinched down here with a piece of Hank of Velcro, but that works really well. Um, let's give you a roll. Socks, underwear, t-shirt. Need a change of something. Should kind of get a little dry bag. I could probably throw a couple more in there and cinch it all down tight, tight and uh, add to it. But this is sufficient right now. My primary. Becker BK2. Love, love, love this knife. Um, a whistle yes, on a lanyard. Let's see if I can get this up. Without, uh, messing a bunch of stuff up. Here it is. It's been used. Uh, did a lot of batoning with it. Um, super sharp. Still works good. 90 degree age across the spine here. Give me some striking for my ferro rod. Original Kydex sheath. Um, I just kept it just because. I know it sucks, but it is what it is. I did add a, um, I want to say SE4, SE5 pouch to the front of that. And that houses my uh, Altoid survival tin. And then more redundancy of fire starter. So inside that tin I have some wet fire. I have some uh, some live fire fuel tabs. I have some jute twine. Um, some cotton balls. Uh, a little first aid kit as well. Last ditch if I got to just take the knife and go. I could go space blanket. Mylar space blanket in there as well. So have something better than nothing. That's that. Coming down to the last couple items. I have the Schrade SC SCX2. Uh, got this from my buddy Tim. Everyday tactile vids. Um, I don't like the the sheath per se. Kind of sucks, but this thing is uh, super cool. Brand new, mad sharp. I actually cut my thumb putting it back in the sheath. Um, ergonomics of this thing, very, very good. I like the, the waffle, you know, pommel on the back. You can actually use it as a hammer, break some stones, whatever you gotta do. Um, and then it's got the, the ferro rod in there, which you will not lose. So that's another plus, another redundancy fire starter. 5x7, um, 10 mil tarp. Um, not 5x7, 8x10, sorry. Silver on one side, I think it's OD green on the other. Uh, Lowe's, 13 bucks. Great, great shelter. And uh, that's pretty much all you would need. 
you know, again, run a ridge line, tent it down. You got plenty of room for your gear yourself, maybe a couple other people. First aid kit. This is a Condor EMT rip away pouch. Can go on the front of this bag. I don't like a lot of things hanging off my pack, so I found some room inside the bag. It fits there. I'm not going to go into it in detail, but it is a full blown med kit. Not a trauma kit. You know, it's missing a lot of things. Um, not a lot of things, but I'd like to get some quick cloth. Some full size EMT shears. They got these little cheesy ones. I do have a, a lot of Coban, syringe for irrigation, tons of alcohol prep, multi size uh, bandages, you know, four by nines, four by fours, five by whatevers, um, some tweezers. Um, I don't have like a cat tourniquet, um, but my wife's a nurse and I got a couple of these. So this would work as a tourniquet. It's kind of super stretchy. You wrap it around there, you throw it on there. Almost feel like a a drug addict because they would use that to find a find a vein, if you will. This uh this kit's pretty good actually. Um, gauze, iPads, some duct tape on a on a 16 penny nail, some more gauze, ice pack. Another bandana, some more Coban, dental floss, sting relief, um, you know, tape, uh, multiple ibuprofen, Tylenol, uh, alcohol prep pads, sterile pads, and you get down into the zipper pouch. I have some gloves in here. I have uh, some hand soap, some sanitizer, some wipes. Everything you need, multiple assortment of bandages. Um, I want to say it, it might not be in this one, it might be in my wife's kit, but I do have a um, I forget what you call it, but it's actually a tube that you would stick down into somebody's throat. You want to stop uh, or block an airway to get them to start breathing again. Uh, I have one of those as well. That might be in my wife's, my wife's med kit where she's the nurse, so she would use that probably more than I would. Yeah. That's my pouch, my EMT pouch. I went over everything there. Uh, cook set. I do have some room for some other things such as the MREs. This tarp is cinched down fairly well and uh, give me one second I'll be right back one more section of this bag um, hydration bladder and it does have the rigid uh, back internal frame if you will you have a couple more contractor bags some smaller clear poly bags um, again this is where the bladder would go I have a three liter um, beast with the hose that would run out through over the top and through the sides. Just don't have it in there. Um, where I'm located, I have tons of streams, rivers, reservoirs, um, all sorts of bodies of water. So, you know, with the, with the ability to boil and then with my Sawyer, um, my Sawyer filter, I think I would have, uh, plenty of options for water again I do have a lot of redundancy and um, I think the only thing I'm really really missing is a couple food items so if you all have any suggestions comments questions please feel free to ask um, or uh, give me your opinion on, on you know what I'm lacking what I have too much of what I should add what I should remove etc I really like it I think for uh, short period of time putting this thing together I did a pretty decent job you know 